Alright guys, so big news uh, today. A couple things. First off, uh, as you can see, yeah, Star vs. the Forces of Evil is returning. It is finally coming back. When? July 11th. Literally less than a month and a half away from us. Well, technically, I guess you could say a month. A couple weeks. A month and a couple weeks. Whatever. Fuck it. So yeah, July 11th is the is the premiere of Star vs. the Forces of Evil Season 2, and yeah, we got some news regarding the season as well as some new stuff regarding the show on a whole. First and foremost, let's talk about what Season 2 is probably going to be about. Well, actually, no, they talked about what it is going to be about. Um, yeah, this season is going to be all about Star learning more about her family history. This is going to be, the big part of this season is Star learning about her family history. You know, we had little bits of that in, you know, uh, Mew Dependence Day. We had that again in the season finale. And we've had little bits and pieces here and there. But now it's her looking into her family history as well as the creation of the wand, which I'm really looking forward to, like how the, the wand was forged. It was forged by one of her ancestors. And I'm really looking forward to the butterfly family you know, the family tree, because you do get the sense that they weren't exactly, especially with Immune Dependence Day and how they just, the, the way you look at it is like, they quintessentially did, uh, um, the way I look at it and, pro and more or less how it's carried out is kind of like how when the English showed up on, you know, on American soil and met the Native Americans and it didn't turn out well for the Native Americans, now did it? So that's kind of how I feel it went, is that, you know, Munins probably weren't really um, they weren't, you know, they were, uh, they migrated here. They came from another world or a dimension, and they showed up, and the monsters were already there, and they kicked them out. <laughs> that's probably how it went down. Um, pretty sure that's how it went down. And, and Star has always been raised to believe that, you know, oh, monsters are bad. We're the good guys. So I'm really curious, I'm really excited to see this kind of, like, culture shock to her. Um, of how, you know, um, the, the very family she was raised to believe are kind of the bad guys, you know Toffee may be the hero, you know uh, Toffee and Ludo are kind of justifiably pissed off at Muni anyway so that's how I see it um, anyway, so among other things with this show uh, that's the, we're also learning that Star's going to be learning some new abilities and, and you know, new things about her bio, you know, new things about herself so I'm really looking forward to that. Like, apparently it won't be from the wand. It, it just won't be, you know, it won't be just new spells. It will be new things from herself. Like, she's going to learn new powers of her own. So that's, like, you know how she got the wings in um, Uberty? So now it looks like she's going to have new uh, things that she's going to learn on her own. So I'm really excited to see that as well. I'm really curious to see how that's all going to... Um, how that's all going to play out, more or less. And, yeah. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, the other... Oh, yeah, we're getting guest stars. They've announced a, ha a good amount of guest stars. Uh, a few being from the Big Bang Theory. We are getting a... F um, I've never really been a fan of that show, but I'm like, whatever, okay. Um, but we the biggest one they announced was, like, Carl Weathers. Most of you guys would know him best as Dylan, you son of a bitch. I suck at Arnold Schwarzenegger. I suck at impressions, as you all know. So... <laughs> Yeah, Carl Weathers is going to be in the show. I know him best as Combat Carl from that Toy Story shark. <laughs> Combat Carl never gets afraid. <laughs> Can we just have him as Combat Carl in the episode? Is that too much to ask? <laughs> there are a few other guest stars, um, but I've completely lost of who has been announced. And they've also they've they've also said there's going to be a ton of more guest stars in there that they haven't announced uh, all of them. They've only announced a handful. I think yeah, the biggest one was Carl Weathers. So maybe he's. Um, can we get uh, Billy D. Williams in an episode? Not as Lando, but as like a. I think he could work as a character in here. Like Billy D. Just fits like in this kind of show. Yeah. Can we just can we just get Billy D. Williams, please? <laughs> Billy D, Billy D. He could just kick open the door and introduce some cold, refreshing Colt 45. Uh. <laughs> oh, now I want that. The other guest star I want that's probably never going to happen Steam Powered Giraffe. Admit it. Steam Powered Giraffe would work on so. Like, if you've ever heard their music, like, you could just see them as them. Even as themselves. Like, they just play real robots in a robot dimension. And they play for, you know, they hang out with Star and Marco. 
That works. <laughs> Just have GG in there, too. I'm talking nonsense. Yeah. I've also said that Steam Powered Giraffe would have been perfect for wa- to guest star and wander over yonder as themselves, but they work here, too. Uh, anyway... So we got a few guest stars, and I know, and yeah, Steam Powered Giraffe and Billy Dee Williams were just ones I picked, and were just ones I wanted. But yeah, that's the, now moving on to some other news. Uh, it has been announced that there will be a Star vs. the Forces of Evil comic book series. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Star is getting her own monthly comic. It's not going to be a mini series. It's going to be a comic book, probably under the Disney line, which the Disney line has been doing. Um, They've been doing the new Darkwing Duck comics. They've been doing... I think they're doing DuckTales next. But this is going to be on that list. And I think they're also going to be doing, like, um, like comic book episode, like comic book versions of the episodes of Gravity Falls as well, like reprints of episodes in comic book form. I think they're doing that now as well. Um, but no, I think this is really cool that, you know, Star vs. the Force of Evil is getting a comic book. It's not going... I don't, I don't think it'll cross over with Marvel, but you never know. Um... But no, I think it's really cool that Star is getting her own comic book. I think it's, um... They're really pushing this, guys. They are really pushing, um... Star vs. the Force of Evil as the new Gravity Falls. Which makes sense, because what? Did you think Future Worm and Pickle and Peanut were going to... Were going to wow the world? No. No. After Gravity Falls, who else was left? Star was left. And guess what? It rocks. (laughs) So... Star and, you know, Star is probably, yeah, Star Versus is probably going to be the new Gravity Falls, and that's what it, that's what it kind of looks like, is how they're, they're playing it out, is they're, they're pretty much pimping out Star for everyone, because they, I think Disney realizes, oh shit, oh shit, we have nothing, what, did we think P- Pickle and Peanut was going to be a thing? Give everything to Star, everything, new season, yeah, they got a season three, apparently. Yeah, I think, yeah, they got a season two even before it got... And then they got a season three, which, yeah, yay. Um, yeah, they already got a season three during their hiatus, you know, during their uh, hiatus. And, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, <laughs> it does look like, they, you know, Disney's... Uh, I, I do have... I saw, I'll say this. I do have a lot of faith, and I'm really excited for... Uh, Miles from, you know, Miles Murphy's Law, which is from the creators of Phineas and Ferb, and the main character is voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. So I'm actually excited. So there's the other one. There's the other one that can uh, that can help uh, um, help uh, Disney for a while. Also, we've got Duck Ta- you know, the Ducktales reboot coming back. Hopefully, that's good because uh, sadly, Alan Davis, the original actor, voice actor for Uncle Scrooge, has passed away. So I don't know who you could get honestly to replace him. Um, I really don't know because he he's so iconic with that voice. Honestly, he's so um, just that voice is just iconic, and he's played that character for so long. It's it's going to be really hard to fill those shoes. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so that's you know that's uh, you know that's going to be tough. But yeah, we got Ducktales next year. Hopefully, that's good because we have, as we've seen from the long line of reboots, looking at you, Powerpuff Girls. They haven't been exactly the night and teen. I'm look, also looking at you, Teen Titans. Go. They haven't exactly been the kindest thing. So, Ducktales, don't fail me, <laughs> please, don't fail me. Anyway, so yeah, getting back to Star, I'm super excited to see you know Star versus the Force of Evil getting this much love. Um, really excited for the comic book series. Really looking forward to what's going to happen in the new in the new season. Uh, all that good shit. But you guys tell me, what do you guys think of all of these announcements for Star vs. the Force of Evil? Do you guys like them? Do you guys hate them? Uh, who, do you want, who do you want to see guest star on Star vs. the Forces of Evil? And are you guys excited for the comic book series coming out, I think they said later this month, uh, later this year, excuse me. I don't know when, but yeah. And what do you guys think of all the stuff revolving around Muni's history that they're going to be delving into? Also... Starco for the win. It's Starco is love, Starco is life. I don't know if we'll get, you know, Marco and Star to hook up um, this season, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be building up to it more. Remember how long it took for Kim and Ron to hook up in Kim Possible? Yeah, it took a while, didn't it? So, it would, it, but I would like, you know, Starco intensifies every episode. God damn it. <laughs> Starcoing intensifies. Um, anyway. So, once again, hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, really, uh, really curious to see what you guys have to say about it, all this. And, yeah. Um, Star's back. <laughs>